Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking about the products that I use to pretty much style and take care of my hair on a daily basis and just, yeah, techniques that I use. So if you want to find out how I take care of my curly hair, keep watching. All right, so jumping right into the video. Um, I'm gonna start off with the shampoo and conditioner that I use to take care of my hair. Um, I use the L'Oreal line. It's the L'Oreal Evercurl Sulfate Free Curl Care System. That's a long ass name. But um, this product I started using, I wanna say um, a year ago, and it has changed my life. It has um, helped me get my natural curls back because I was using a lot of heat. I was straightening my hair a lot, and that takes away from your natural curls. It, if you continuously put heat in your hair and you straighten it a lot, it's going to you're gonna lose all you're gonna lose all of your natural curl, like the shapes and everything. You'll, you'll start losing them little by little. So it's important to stay away from heat. Um, so I started using this um, because it's sulfate free, and sulfate is a chemical that um dries your hair and then if it's too dry it's going to cause frizz so that's something that you want to stay away um you want to stay away from so that um i would definitely recommend this line um it's not expensive you can find it on your local target walmart cvs all that jazz and it's not that expensive and I, for me personally i was looking for a good product that was not that expensive that i would use constantly and not spend too too much money on so this is something i definitely recommend um, moving right on to the product that I use to uh, untangle my hair, I just use a wide tooth comb. Um, and you can find these at your local beauty supplies. I mean a dollar, even less than a dollar. So when I use this type of comb, it's going to help me untangle my hair much faster. And it's also going to help with my curls. It's going to keep the shape without stretching it too much because if it does stretch it out, you know, it's too harsh. It's going to cause your curls to continuously just stretch out and you don't want that you want it to kind of like stay in place and just curl up so that's a good um it's a good product to ha uh it's a good tool to have you can find these at your local beauty supplier for like a dollar or so i paid like 80 cents for this bad boy at one of my beauty supply stores so it's worth it then um what i do is um on a normal basis i mean i don't style my hair really i just put it up or just whatever because i go to the gym and i just run around and stuff like that so what I do is I just put in um, some hair milk um, to just re just keep the frizz in place because, you know, you got to just retain this thing. <laughs> so you pretty much just distribute it all over your hair and you just let it air dry. And that's what I do. And it helps with the frizz. It hydrates while replenishing and all that good jazz. So this is a, just a cheap product that I picked up at my local Target just to have um, as like a leave-in instead of putting in just like a leave-in conditioner. Um, then what I do is I use um, two products. Um, depending on the occasion, depending on how I'm feeling, I will use Miss Jessie's um, Pillow Soft Curls. And the reason why I have to mention this product is because it's my holy grail. Um, it is a little expensive, so that's why I have this as a backup, but I am loyal to this product. I have been using this for the last eight years. So when I found out about this, I was like, mm, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to, you know, throw you away. I didn't do that. No. <laughs> so I use this occasionally if, you know, if I don't really want to use this and save this because it's expensive, I will definitely use this. So... Um, it's just a Fructis, it's a curling conditioning cream, and you can find this, again, at Walmart, Target, your pharmacies and all that stuff. Um, and this, you can actually find at Target. I did find it at Sally's the other day, and the price is pretty similar, and they have, for the most part, all of her line um, at Sally's as well. Um, and I haven't tried any of her other products, which I definitely will be looking forward to using um, if, let's say, you know, if I choose to go outside of this line. Um, because this one's fairly inexpensive but it's pretty much they work the same in the same manner where you know it's a curl it's a lotion and you leave it in and you don't have to rinse it or anything like that it's a styling product so you want to leave it in and you want to go ahead and just style it the way that you would normally do and then just let it naturally air dry there are a lot of people that use a diffuser to def you know to pretty much get um the not to get your curls a little bit more shaped up if you're having a hard time with your curls like I am right now because it's hard to tame down this thing <laughs> but um 
pretty much um, what it does, it just conditions your hair and it sets it so that it stays in place. And then it has, um, it helps also to um, detangle your hair. So in the future, if you do wash it and all that stuff, it's easier to detangle. So it's definitely a good product to use. I will definitely recommend this. Um, and again, if you follow her on Instagram, she does usually post, like her Instagram page usually posts where there's a sale going on if Target is having one or she's having one on her website because they do have like buy one, get one 50% off at times off certain products. So that's something for you to just um, follow and see when they're having some sales. But this product, it does have sulfate in it. And um, I have realized that yes, using the um, Pillow Soft Curl helps my hair, but when I use this, it's kind of like, mm, you know, it's not as good as this, but it will work in a very similar way. The only thing is that it is a little bit more drying. My hair's not too, too frizzy. I don't have, that's not an issue of mine, but um, it may help with that, but I don't think so. Let me see. It doesn't, but um, it will definitely help to just manage and just keep everything in place. So I will definitely recommend, as I almost, you know, take my eye out, but I'll definitely recommend these two. The next product that I use is um, coconut oil. I just use organic coconut oil that you could use for your skin, which I use occasionally because I have eczema. Um, you could use it to cook and all that stuff. You could use the same exact one. Um, and what you do is you just pretty much go ahead and um, Grab like a spoonful, put it in a bowl, put it in the microwave for like a couple seconds and then just go ahead and use that oil and distribute it all over your hair and make sure it's in your um, roots, at your ends and all that stuff. And you just put a cap on for a couple of minutes, probably like 20 or so, and then you just rinse it out. And your hair will be very hydrated and it will be conditioned because your hair needs that um, hydration. Curly hair needs hydration at all times because... If it's too dry, it's going to be frizzy and all that stuff. The other one thing that I do, instead of using a towel, I use a t-shirt when I wash my hair. Um, using a t-shirt, it doesn't take away as much water as a towel does. Because when a towel, when you towel dry your hair, it's, you know, it's taking away all that water. Because of course, that's what a towel does. It dries out your hair, uh, your, your skin and all that. So it's going to do the same thing with your hair. So you want to use a t-shirt instead or an old whatever, you know, an old t-shirt that you don't even use, all that. So you, instead of um, using a towel. So um, that's pretty much all I do with my hair. I don't use, I don't do anything too crazy. Um, I just stay away from using a diffuser for the most part because of the heat. And I try to stay away from straining my hair a lot. Um, for special occasions, I definitely will. But I definitely have learned throughout the years to embrace my curly hair because it's just part of me and it's who I am. I hope this helped you guys um, and maybe you guys learned something new um, maybe you guys will go out and use one of these products let me know how it goes let me know what products you guys use because it might help me and it might be something I'm missing out on so leave me some comments down below I will list all of these products down below as well with the link and all that stuff so that you guys know where to find it and um, leave me some comments if you have anything um, to tell me so again thank you so much for watching my video and coming back to my channel I will talk to you guys soon bye